everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to show you how I make my sweet tea. This was one of the very first videos that I did that I will be removing from my channel. But uh, we love sweet tea. I drink it all the time and I make two gallons at a time but there's always three gallons in my refrigerator. I only like tea once it's done gotten cold in the refrigerator after it's setting overnight so there'll be two gallons to the left one gallon to the right that's the tea that's cold and ready to drink and then once that gets gone and then once another gallon gets gone I move the cold gallon to the right and then put the two hot gallons to the left so there's a system here so everybody knows if there's just a little bit of the cold tea leave it alone that's mine so I have my tea pan that I use and I measured it out in uh, cups but I use nine cups of cold water to start with and I use the family size tea bags and I do use decaffeinated tea and nobody's never noticed a difference and uh, because now I really can't have that much caffeine and I used to use and I can't say the name correct Lipton but I got a good coupon for Louisiana. Tried it, loved it. We can buy the big case for cheap at Sam's Club. So that's what I use. And I know many people uh, do their tea totally different. This is just the way that I do it. So I use six family size tea bags. I have my heat on high. And once this starts to come up to the bowl, I'll bring you back. And I know, I, I'm not trying to brag or nothing like that, but I've even had relatives stop by my house and say, I know I'm unannounced, and I know this sounds weird, but can I please have a glass of your tea? <laughs> so, anyway, I'll bring you back when this gets ready to boil. Alright, we're coming up to the bowl. And so now I'm not going to mash on these hard. I'm just going to press my tea bags in there. And now we're at a good full bowl. I'm going to let it boil for just a few seconds. Maybe about up to 30 seconds. Be careful not to let it boil over. And now I'm going to just turn it off and leave it sitting there. Every now and then I might come and just move the tea bags around a little bit. But I'm going to let this set a good 10-15 minutes. Sometimes I've even let it set for 30 minutes because I've gotten busy doing something. But we're just going to let it steep for a while. And then I'll be back with the next step. Alright, I have my two gallon pitchers washed and ready to make some tea. And the reason why I always keep a cold one in there, I do not like ice in my drinks. I like drinks that are already cold. The only time I like ice in my drinks, if I'm having some type of a slushy type drink. Now you can add the amount of sugar that you like. I don't like a really sweet, sweet tea, but I will not drink unsweet tea. So over all the years that I've been making it, I used to use two cups and then I've gotten it down to where I only use like one and one fourth cup. And this is a half cup measure that stays in my tea pitcher. In my sugar dish, rather. That's one cup. And fourth. I'm going to be like Justin Wilson and prove that this is around a fourth of a cup. See? <laughs> you measure stuff so long... You just get to know it. Now my tea has been setting for around 15-20 minutes. I'm going to give it a gentle stir. And I'm going to pour half in one container and the other half in the other. Now I'm going to fill this pan back up with water on top of the tea bags while I'm stirring this to dissolve, dissolve the sugar. I 
Okay, I hope you can see this. I have that filled up with water. Gonna kind of toss my tea bags in it just for a bit to get the remaining tea out of it. And do the same. Half and half in each container. And now just finish filling it up with cold water. And now just give it a good stir, pop the lid back on, and the refrigerator, it goes. And this is how I make my sweet tea. And that way I already have one gallon in my refrigerator that has set overnight, and it's cold. And we don't drink that much in a day, but with four adults here, and I'm the main tea drinker. But that way I already have one cold that lasts all day. And then by the time I get ready to make some more, sometimes it's every other day when I make tea, then I already have one that's already cold before I have to make more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment because I do love hearing from you. Let me know, do you like sweet tea and how do you make yours and how much sugar and all do you add? Let me know and until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all.